he said he says he knows about Satanism, but he doesn't know that they, what the rituals are and what those rituals are for. I mean, because why would they put the word Satanism if it's not about Satan? He's it saying it has nothing to do with Satan. It represents freedom and rebellion against the Abrahamic religion. So do, is, the, is he the god of Satanism? Sorry? Is he the god of Satanism? No, I don't believe in God. Isn't that the opposite? Okay, so the original longer, Satanist. Right? That's like the opposite. The, the original Satanist. Freedom and rebellion. The ones that started Satanism. That for original, um, the original Jimmy Church of Satan. Now you, you have a different Church of Satan. Yeah. Yes, you do. No. no, that original Church of Satan yeah. believed that Satan was their God. No, now there's a new uh, Church of Satan which says we are atheists. We don't believe the Satan. But they still call themselves Satan. They're still against Christianity. There's, there's, no, you got it. You, you just don't have the history right. You, you have to get that history right. So the, the Satanism is only against Christianity, not against any other religion. That means that the enemy of Satanism, of Satan, is Christianity, nothing else. And therefore, Christianity is right. Well, I mean, who, who would, if, if you were the Satan, and you were going against, if I was a Satanist, what were you before you were a Satanist? I don't believe and I think intrinsically wrong. I think the Christianities are their enemy, therefore Christianity is correct. That's the logic they use in, in the Middle East. They say you're known by your enemies. Like so the logic in the East, that, that makes okay, no sense. Okay, no, no, no. What do you mean? Sorry, 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 what do you mean? Sorry, 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 sorry. Why aren't they against? That phrase. So, why so not? Don't believe okay, fine. You, you don't have to believe it. I think it's a stupid phrase. Okay, so tell me. Look, bro, bro, hold on, bro. Let me let me finish my conversation. Bro, let me finish my conversation. Generally, people who go down this road are ex This road. Okay. Bro, can I finish my conversation, please? All right, please. Forget about Satanism, just tell me about the crescent moon. So you said, I don't know, and I said, none of the Dais here know, none of the Muslims know. That crescent moon, I have, I've researched it. No, bro, everybody used the moon current. Jews, Christians, Hindus, everybody. Yeah, of course. Yeah. At that time, at that time, everybody used the uh, the, the the moon calendar. Yeah, moon calendar. Well, we all are religious life. We all rely. On the moon how he just That's because it's a moon calendar. All the months, huh? fasting every it's day. It's, it's our life. We've been doing this. That's right. You know why? Your, your, because Muhammad, the God of Quraysh, my dad was an ex-cultist who became Catholic. The Lord of Quraysh was so called Baal. You have you have many. Look at the history. You have many, not just one. Why are you just picking one? He's the Lord. There are many, but the main one. Yeah, well, they have more than one. Listen, they have 360, right? Al Latu, Al Azza, Al Hibba, all of them. Okay, listen. Yeah. Can you listen? Um, I'm listening. Okay. If you say something wrong, they have to correct you. That's okay. Okay. 360 You're saying idols, right? Exactly. The Lord you, of those idols. You the Lord believe of those idols was Huba. Or yeah, do you, are saying, you just, okay? are you saying what that it says? That was the crescent moon. Or have I you done your own research? Even, See, even that's that the trouble with Satanism is you say, no, it's not a religion. It's nothing to do with, I give you the answer. Give it to me. It's just having it. I'm listening. Because we use the moon calendar. No, no, no. What it says is, listen. Moon calendar. is used. What's the point of the theatrics? Because it's a moon calendar. It's used by Hindus. But we took it. Okay, but we took it. It's like having a moon. It's used to have the crescent. Yeah. No, no, no. But in the context of the context. It's like saying. What do you mean? Context it's like everybody's Satan. using this calendar. You say, I'm going to use it and yeah. I'm going to take rituals. this moon symbol and put it on the house of the Lord, which is of the mosque. I'm going to put it on top of that. Why? So Whose why, permission? Why is Who's, did God tell you to put, put something you on his? He said, don't have any graven images of his. Right? Symbol. You're not supposed to. So, yeah. But you take this symbol, which is not just a symbol, it's a symbol of the moon. Okay. So it's a symbol that's already taken. Was it used at the time of Of course! Please, I can show you. Just look at the bubal. No, 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 ancient, no, 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 ancient, whatever you want to look at. Okay, ancient moon god of Arabia has a crescent moon for thousands of years. He's talking about original Satanists. The original Satanists never believed in Satanism. Yes, they did. The original Satan, the Church of Satanism, when they started, you can look it up. Go look it up. up. Does the church yeah, yeah. Just go the, on their website. Church of Satan. No, not your website. The new Church of Satan that they have now the is not the old one. Is, is the original church. one is not the one because it was too you're controversial. So they wanted to clean it up you're so they can they make it a real religion. What do you mean? No, no wait, that whole stop. thing no, was no, changed. No, it is a religion. It now is it is. Now it is because they had to change it so they could make it a religion. So they can. Well, in the U.S., after Roe v. Wade, yeah, of course, when they made abortion, not the Church of Satan. 
it's two different things. It's like based on the here. same principle. No, it's not. They don't even follow the Satanic Bible. They're so, humanists. Okay. So I've researched about Anglicans and the, 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 the star, right? They They're both Christian. I can tell you about the star too. Forget that. Forget that. What I'm trying to say is, you can tell me everything, and I'm I'm going to assume that you're correct, right? Okay. How do you link the moon and the star uh -huh. with hadith and, Islam and, and the Quran? And the Quran. I don't. So why do you say Islam? You do. We mm. don't. Muslims do. They put. The, uh, okay. This the Arabians do. Not the Arabians. And because, and because there's nothing Pakistan wrong with it, no, why not? Please. What's your name, sir? Ali. Ali. Listen. Turkey is not Arabian. Pakistan is not Arabian. All these other Mauritania, there's all these but countries. originated from Arabia. It's okay. You said it's cultural. It's Arab, right? Originated. Originated. Okay. Where did the star and the moon worship originate? Worship? In the Islamic culture. You have plenty of time to talk to other Muslims. Hmm? You have plenty of time to do Dao elsewhere. What are you talking about? My concern is he keeps slipping out of the conversation. Well, you want to go and take him, take him over there and to have a conversation with him? It's okay. I have already talked to him. I'm talking to him now. Because I already talked to him. He's... he's he, he said that he left Christianity, he didn't know about Christianity, he said he got baptism. Well, he said he was a Christian, then he became a Catholic, and now he's a non-religion person, whatever that means. But he likes bats, he says. That's all. Is it, what is that? Atheist religion. Okay. But now I mean, it is, I told you, the new church of Satan now. is. They had to I make do it believe it has, I do, I do agree with him though. I feel like ages ago, it was, uh, it was a deeper, deeper meaning, and, and they did believe. And uh, no, now, no, no, it wasn't that old. Bro. Okay. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no. it's okay, it's okay. But it doesn't matter. You wouldn't call yourself a, a whatever, you know, like without. That's, that's one way to like, because the new thing is to not believe in God and to be an atheist. Like that's a way to recruit. So that means that all the atheists then, then are a Satanists. Well, it's, it's a little bit. It's a little bit yeah. more than that. Then once you get, a cult ritual. Yeah, but once you get higher up, it then no, refers no. to the actual. By his definition, you actually do believe in Satan. Okay, and you are doing fucking okay. blood rituals. By his definition, all the atheists are Satanists. No. Okay, by this definition, because they don't believe in God. That's true. Atheists. That is, that's a good point. Okay, is so that's how the, because that that's that this is the thing they're trying to do is to. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it's all satanic it's, on the it's, other. It's, it's, it's like uh, Satan, you know, in the Bible. It's a marketing kind of scheme. Uh, yeah. Okay, in the Bible, it says Satan comes as the angel of light. Yeah. He never comes as Satan. Oh, look, I'm Satan, worship me. No, he's going to come as somebody very nice. I'm very good. Yeah? Or clever and intelligent. Of course. Yeah. No, he comes in sheep's, uh, uh, okay, uh, but sheep's let's clothing. Have, let's have the star and the moon. So, star and the moon is very simple. Star and the moon, you can look it up. Go to the pre Islamic. Uh, you, I can give you your own text. Tabari wrote about it, okay, and Kilby. Kilby is the one who wrote the, um, the what do you call that, the genealogy of Muhammad, linking him to um, uh, Ishmael, okay? So that, he was in the seventh century, Kilby. And you can look this up. And he wrote another book. This was, one was the genealogy book, and the other book was called The Idols of Arabia. He just wrote the history of the idols of Arabia. In that book, he wrote this story, he said, Quraysh was the in charge of Kaaba. There were 360 idols there. The Lord of Kaaba, meaning the Lord of those 600, was Hubal. Hubal was the crescent moon god that they worshipped. That means Muhammad's father and mother, they worshipped Hubal. Okay, that means Muhammad grew up at UBL. Put Kilby Hubal. H U B A Kilby K I L B I E yeah yeah just put that in. Do you know where the Satanic Temple is based in the UK? Where is it based in? Shepperton. Okay, I don't know where Shepperton is. Southwest. Okay, so what's the significance of that? Shepperton. Well, it's right next to Four at Lumen Christie Society uh, community, which is a community that works specifically on the prophetic word and on Christian. Not specifically Catholic necessarily, really? on the prophetic word. And it seems like they've popped up shop right next door because they're based in Chertsey and they're Shepperton and Chertsey are like that. Yeah. Have you read your haircut? Okay. Did you see anything? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. I'm not making any... I'm on camera all the time. You'll see me doing this stuff with... Well, you know Mansoor? Okay, he's one of the biggest debaters here. The first debate I had here was with Mansoor, and it's on camera. So he came up with 
The Turkish put it there. Ottoman Empire did it. It's a decoration. It's a it's a, a calendar thing. We like Why that. Why does it tie in? How does it tie in with the Hadith and the Quran? No, no, no. Listen, my friend. Hadith and Quran. Quran says don't worship the star and the moons. Does it not? It does. Right? That's fine. I'm not. You don't worship the Christ. The Christ Do you star. bow down in your mosque? To Allah. Who's I also bow down in my house. That's right. Called, That's uh, right. So when you bow down in the mosque, okay, hold on, bro. It's a place of veneration. You know what a place of veneration is. Can you put the Quran on the floor? Yeah. Can you put it like right there on the floor? Here. Yeah. I wouldn't. No, but can you put it anywhere on the floor, or are you supposed to put it up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's called place of veneration. So when you put a, what is the the minaret? Is the highest point in, in the mosque, right? Whose symbol would you put up there? Would that be God's symbol? Because the God of house of God, right? We don't have a symbol for God. Yes, you do. I mean, there is Allah written. No, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't know. That. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Listen. What's the symbol for God? Huh? What's our symbol for God? The crescent moon. Okay. What is that over there? It's an Arabian cultural thing. It's an Arabian it's cultural thing. In Arabia. That's fine. Because I'll I'll take that. Of, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Um, they used to follow. Um, they used to. They live in a desert, so they used to follow the stars for navigation. All right. Okay. That's my belief. That's your belief. Okay, fine. Through so a, let's a, let's go with you. A very Google research. Very okay, Google that's research. fine. Let's go with you. Okay. All right. So. The Arabs used to uh, like venerate, let's say, the moon, because at night, it, the sun, because it was so harsh, they hated the sun and they loved the moon, right? Because the moon was at night would light and it would give them to show them the direction, whatever, right? But here's a little thing: that culture worshipped Hubal, which was the moon god, which was the crescent moon. Now. If I go with your logic and I say, well, it's a cultural thing, I say, okay, fine. So now Islam has taken a pagan cultural symbol of their culture. Okay. Right? You said it's an Arabic cultural symbol, right? Yeah. But that symbol is not a cultural symbol because that culture used to worship that symbol. Okay. It was, it was the symbol of their god. Okay. That's the problem. Now, the problem, okay, so you're, now so your the problem source is I, saying, Kilby is saying, me, Quraysh was in charge of Kaaba. I wasn't saying this, you were saying. Kilby, okay. you know who Kilby is? Yes. He's the writer of the history. Yes. In 7th century, he wrote a book called The Book of Idols. In this book, he's writing this. The Quraysh is the head of, uh, the, the Quraysh is in charge of Kaaba, and the Lord of Kaaba is Hubo, which is the crescent moon god. Now, from there, you already, already, we already established from your belief that crescent moon is the cultural symbol of the Arabs. Now you got another piece of evidence from Islamic sources saying this symbol, by the way, is Hubal symbol, which the Quraysh is worshiping. And this is coming from your source. But it could also, it could also be, and I don't know this, it could also be a symbol that's been used before Hubal. Wait, wait, wait. I can. I have looked into the history of this. This symbol has been used by thousands of years. By it's Hubal is in the Bible too. So if you go even thousands of years before that, the people from that area, you know where Babylon was, you know where Iraq and yeah, that area, these people were worshiping Hubal, which was the crescent moon. So this has been there for thousands of years. All right. So you taking so speed up the argument. Right? That's all. That's 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 the, that's, that's the, the argument is right there. You already got that. Okay, so he's tying them, so he's using the crazy star. Is he talking about the moon god? The crazy star. So, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, yes, what I'm trying to say is, how do you tie that in with the Quran and the Quran? He's doing his best, he can't. It's okay. Because I, I read the Quran, I don't have to. I follow the Quran and I follow the Hadith. That's desperate. None of them say crazy star. So, that's fine. how are you tying the star? Let me tie the star for you. Can I tie the star for you to the Quran? Let's do that. Okay. The sun, the star, the moon, you can tie it all, bro. There's no significance. Dude, dude, why are you interrupting, man? Because Am I talking to you? Am I talking it's to you? It's a public conversation. Come on, man. You, you, is, I, talk where, to, I try to talk to him. Go, he's like, like oh, he's don't go. come and talk to me. You're no, crazy. No, no. Now he's, he's coming and talking to me. Last time I came and talked to him, he was being rude to me. He's like, oh, why are you coming and talking to me? I don't talk to you. I don't talk to you, man. Who are you? Who are you? What are you going to do? No. What are you going to do? You're going to make me? 
No, what are you going to do? Uncle. Calm down. No, you know, last you time I contact. came to you, you were like, I'm not talking to you. Cry, I'm not talking to you. Well, now you come and talk to me. Stop crying. No, no, no. Don't be a hypocrite. Stop crying. Don't be a hypocrite. When I come and talk to you, talk to me proper. I'm talking to you. So I'll talk to you proper next time. Don't don't act like do? you did last time. What are you gonna do? Don't do that. You're gonna make me. Don't do that. Calm down, man. Don't do that. Relax, All right, man. Let me let me show, connect your star to your Quran, and then you will know what I'm talking Not about. The crazy. And, and for it's for you too. Not the crazy, just the star. Just the star. So yeah. It has no fucking no. Um, That's fine. But you you the and well, star. you have the just crescent the and the star. Okay. You have the crescent and the star, don't okay. you? Okay. Oh, we don't just have a star. What? We have also a crescent. Yeah, crescent and the star. So we'll you're connect the star, crescent. Uh, you're saying oh, this is like the Quran. Okay. <laughs> let's no, let's no, connect half of that. Yeah. Okay. That's clear. fine. That's fine. So let me get go to Quran. Uh, let me see where. Hold on. Uh, my, come on. Uh, can you do me a favor? Go to uh, go to Quran.com. Go to Simple. Najam. The Muslims do not worship the moon. Simple and plain. Yeah, no. That's it. That's, 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 that's it. Where's the hadith that's in the Quran? It, that's it. That's it. I'm going to show you the, desperate, the, desperate, the, desperate. the, the star. Wow. Do, you, do you know it vaguely? Because I'm huh? a Najam. Najam. You'll never I'll get go there, to bro. Quran. It's going keep you all day. Okay. Go to Quran.com. I don't want to mess with your phone. Right? The star, the moon, everything is going to go. A little straw man. Never come with no clear reference. What? You've already left the Quran. You want to You want to debate me? You want to debate me? I'm talking to my brother. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. All right. So you're a hackler, huh? Are you hackling? What do you mean? Are you hackling you my conversation? So you you're see, it's desperate. Right. So you're a hackler. You you're a hackler. Get out of okay. right. 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 so right. right. so right. This is typical of them. Yeah. So as soon as they're losing, they will just go to Syria and Najam. Backslide into argumentation. So now I'm victim. I'm victim. I'm victim. Okay, just give me the video. Yeah, yeah, give me the video. And I did it. Syria, Syria, Najam. The star. Yeah. Go to Syria, Najam. No hacking. I think it's 49 or 53 first. What is Allah saying? The big question, about the yeah, the big question brother, is did you eat that burger in the end that you was holding on for like yeah. two hours you was holding yeah, this burger? Can you have your conversation so like over there, bro? Yes. We're, we're what? trying to have it. Are, are, are you some wait, kind of wait, gangster or what? I'm on video. You want me to be on you, you wanna be on my video? Do you wanna have a conversation? Or you just wanna be on my video? Are you just are you just a heckler? Are you gonna force me to do something? Or are you gonna keep talking or what is gonna What do you mean? Are you just being rude? Are you just being rude? Are you just being rude? Just like your prophet. I think it's 49 or 53. Either one of them. Desperate. Which Sarah? Al Najam. Look, look. 49 or 53, yeah. And he knows so much about Islam. Still. Still. Al Hajj or Al Al Najam, Najam. Al Najam. Najam, yeah. Can you read it out loud, buddy? And he alone, so, وَإِنَّهُ هُوَ رَبْهُ الشَّعْرَ And he alone is the Lord of Sirius. Sirius, Sirius. Sirius. thank you, buddy. Now, star worship, Sirius. Thank you. Star worship by some <laughs> in any kind of pieces. Thank you. Star I, worship by, I, that is your Quran is saying. From my understanding, is that when he's speaking to the Arabs and they were worshipping the star, he's letting them know that he is He already he read it. It's 49 or 53. Huh? He is the Lord of everything, including this, thank you. this thing that thank you. you thank Sure. Okay, so now let's go to. No, no, take that out. Take that out. Now go to the beginning of that uh, chapter, the one that you just read the verse from, and read the beginning of that chapter. Like four, three or four verses in the beginning of the chapter. You'll see that star is called the Sirius. Sirius is the dark star, which is the brightest star in the night. It's 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 been always worshipped in the ancient Arabia. So. Are you thinking, bro? Uh, uh, like read it from the beginning. Uh, the, the first few verses yeah. talk about Uzzah and Manat. Yeah, Those are the three stars Sorry? also. They, 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 they and Manat. They're not stars. You understand the difference? Sorry? They're not stars. They're they were. They're they're all all they're stars. Stars. They are. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. If you don't yeah, know, you don't know. The three stars were the three goddesses. Okay. So Manat and Uzzah and those three, they were all three stars. They were worshipped. I can't find three God specific. Uh, you either look the, for it. Hold on. Yeah, did you go to uh, Najm? Yeah. Okay. So the beginning, the idols are names that are uh, forefathers are made up. Is that, alone, is that verse alone? Is that verse enough for you to make an argument? Yeah. Here it is. Now, have you considered Uzza and uh, Uzza and the tried one Manat as well? 
do you prefer to leave sons and Valdi? Okay, they were. Okay, here it says do not worship them because they're idols made. Okay. Some of us were working on it. So Allah like, say, instance, is in this. You see Uzzah and Manat mentioned, right? Me, so those are the right there. When I stand up I, I have the oh, where is it? I just read it. The, I just read the strength, uh, the power uh, to make sure that oh, my skeletal man. system on. is in an anatomical mm -hmm. acceptable position. Alone. Whereas you, for instance, you could say, for instance, I was just there. Okay, so you had the brother. stars the when they fade away, the father uh, is misguided, nor does the speaker, the, the, the only revelation shown in the head has been taught in mighty power. The God this while you're at the highest point in the horizon, then they approach the prophet coming of it, and then you're away. Is this the same chapter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm right here, bro. Right here. Look at this. Now, now, have you considered the idols of Lot and Uza? Uza and Afaraitum Allah to Al Uza. And Manat, Manat. Okay. Sorry. And Manat. Okay. So, if you would have so these are the okay. Do you want to answer all of the No more Muslims here are Christians. That's why they have no to be a third one man as well. Do you prefer to have sons for your Is that good Christian behavior? Is that decent Christian behavior? You're telling me this is a good example of what you're saying. This truly is a bias. As a Muslim. Yeah. These idols are, are, are mere names that you and your forefathers have made up. These idols are mere names that you and your forefathers have made up. That's right. A practice Allah has never authorized. That's right. They follow nothing by right. 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 Ali, Ali, now you got my point. Now this point, Allah made a point here. No, listen, listen, listen to my argument. Allah made a point of saying this Allah's manat. Don't worship them, they're your father's make them. I am the God, God, right? I have no problem with that statement. Now, when you read the other statement where he's talking about he's the Lord of Sirius, he doesn't say the Lord of Sirius is an idol, do not worship him, because they were worshipping the uh, Sirius. Sirius has been worshipped for thousands of years as well. You know Egypt, Egyptian gods? One of their gods is the dog star, which is Sirius, which is the brightest star in night, is Sirius. This is a five-pointed star. It has five points. Look it up. Anything I say, if I bring flowers to you, is going to be fine. Allah is the Lord of everything. So using the argument that Allah, it doesn't mean anything. Well, especially when the Quran says you should not worship the moon or the stars, okay. worship the one who created them, right? That's right. Yes, exactly. Right. So how does that make you Muslims that if you will if you will finish your point? Once you once you once you're done once you're done, mm -hmm. once you say okay I'm done, then I'll tell. Right? Yeah, that's fine. That's I don't want to talk fine. over you. Yeah, that's good. Would that's you good. would you listen to I me? Also, also, would you listen to me? I was listening, no? Okay. I was listening, but I didn't. If you make a point, you... then can I counter your point? Of course. Okay. But would you give me a chance then by not speaking? Of course, I'll give you? you, but I would like the same to be reciprocated. That's if right. I, I've well, been no, listening. I've been listening. Yeah, I've been listening. Meaning that when you speak, I listen. When I speak, you listen. Yeah. Is that fair? That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Equal footing. Equal. Equal. No interruption. Equal time. We will no, give you no, each other time. No interruption. He's gonna keep time. So I make my point. Okay. Listen. Listen. Let me speak. Can I finish this? one we are at the, almost at the end okay, okay. okay so my friend Allah made a point to point out these three daughters of Allah that they used to call them Allah Manat, and, Uzzah, from, and said these are eight. and the other words that I showed you where he says Allah alone is the different. Lord of Sirius okay which is that, not mentioned in the other verses that you, you told me to research later on which was this? so he said Sirius yeah are, is, is a different name Sha'ara yeah uh, Sirius Quran. is the star okay. dog star yeah which is different from the other names that you mentioned later on the, those are others are different yeah Lat and Manat those are the you know when you look in the night sky there are three okay. stars that's fine the, yeah, yeah belt of Orion I'm those three saying, stars okay. Okay. are so Alat Manat and Uzza yeah those three are different so Allah mentioned those three stars and said don't worship these three worship. stars yeah. these are idols which is fine okay, okay? but when it comes to Sirius Allah did not say anything other than Allah is the Lord of Sirius now if I am worshiping Sirius in Arabia and somebody comes and tells me that Allah is the Lord of Sirius you have to worship Allah and I already worship Sirius because they were worshiping Sirius do you understand that 
my understanding of that verse is that they used they they would worship Sirius and Allah um, is trying to is trying to say that he is the Lord of everything, including. This, Thank you. This Thank you for saying that. That is very nice what you said. However, that's not what the verse said. The same chapter told you in the sure, beginning. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me make my point. The same chapter, Allah made a point of naming those three goddesses, yeah. saying, these three, your fathers made this up, yes. this is idol, don't do this. But I am the Lord. Worship a lot That's fine. And, and God says he's the, he's the Lord Listen, of everything. So the, the same if you read the verses before it and after it, it's like there's no mention of this serious star that you're worshipping is also an idol. Don't do that. I am the Lord of Sirius. That would make sense. Or you could say anything to discredit this deity that they have in their mind. Sirius is God. If I'm God, if, if you are worshipping Sirius and I'm God, and I come and tell you, idol? don't worship that. Idol? Yes, of course he is okay, an idol. In the Quran it says to worship idols. So That's right. No, it's not. Right. Because Allah is saying, I am the Lord of Sirius. Do you people who are worshipping... We, we, already, we already agreed that it's, it's a way of saying I'm the Lord of everything, including, that's what you're, including these things that you, that's a very you good, worship as God. That's a very good... And Sirius is Can an I idol. finish what I'm yeah. saying? That's a very good interpretation. But this is very circular. Dude, you don't stop. Can, can you stop? Say, can I say, say one Quran sentence? Quran is very, very simple, right? You no, it's not. God. You believe in God, you don't believe in idols. Okay, fine. Then why is God saying that I'm the Lord of this idol? He's the Lord of everything. My friend, in the same made. chapter, he's saying, these three are idols, don't do that. I'm the Lord. I'm the Lord. Worship me. Fine. Okay? Next verse down the, uh, in the chapter, he doesn't say anything about this is an idol. What you're doing is wrong. Don't do that. He just says, I am the Lord of Sirius. Okay. If I come and so say you have, to you, you're you worshipping Sirius. Okay. So and I say... a problem in the translation. Your no, translation. no, not translation, bro. Not translation. Allah is so telling him, the people who are worshipping Sirius to, worship to stop worship worshipping him because he is... worship that bag. Don't worship no, this no, no, leaf. no. Like but he does that. Okay, then why does he do that with Allah, Mannat and Uzzah? Why does he do that with Allah, Mannat and Uzzah? Okay, my, the, the, look. You have a double standard. On one hand, your God is making, naming these goddesses. Look, look, look. There are temples to these goddesses in the ancient world. So these goddesses were worshipped. He said, don't do that. Stop doing that. Fine. I'm Allah, worship me. Fine. Down in the middle of the chapter, he says, there is another God over there, which is Sirius, which comes from ancient times from Egypt. They used to worship Sirius. Five-pointed star. You have the five-pointed star. It's Sirius. Your Lord is saying, I am the Lord of Sirius. Okay. Instead of saying, this Lord of Sirius is also a false God. Don't do that. I am the Lord. That's it. No, he doesn't. Okay. So that means, which, that which means, means, which means you got your star, Sirius, in your, uh, on your mosque from your God, Sirius. That's what it means. Okay. Now there's a connection in your Quran with Sirius. As far as the crescent moon, I've already explained that from your sources, Kil Kilbi and Tibri both mention the same story. And they both connect crescent moon. Who is, the, who is, the, who is that God? The crescent moon? Uh, uh, Hubal. 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 From uh, Sirius. Of course. Okay. Okay. Hubal is the Lord of crescent moon. Okay. So we took one, one symbol from one God and one symbol from another no, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You took two biggest symbols of Arabia, of the gods of Arabia. Muhammad is saying, okay, I got a bunch of people here worshipping Crescent Moon. I got a bunch of people here worshipping Sirius. How can I all have them all worship, you know, come to Islam? Okay, this is, this is I'll take their symbol, put it on my mosque. I'll tell these people here, Sirius, people, my Lord is the Lord of Sirius. But this is not the Hadith or Quran. My friend, okay, fine. I, I connected your star to your Quran. So that's one connection. Very, very, very vaguely. No, my friend, that's a five-pointed... And also be undercut by the fact that the Quran says to worship any gods, worship that's end of that's story. That's, no, Super that's not end of story. Simple, it's like, not end of story. Okay, direction. okay. If that was the end of story, you know what would be the end of story? If you did took down the cross, the crescent moon and the star, okay, that would be the end of story. That's the pro that's the beginning the Kaaba, of the, the story. The Kaaba, the Kaaba. Do we worship it? Do we worship towards it? Alhamdulillah, that's it. What's what's wrong with that? You don't understand it. 
Are you sure you want to debate me? Are you sure you want to debate me? Uncle, please. You, you okay. To, to, All right. Since you're being nice, I'll be nice to you. Listen to me, my friend. Listen. I'm, uh, you, you, you kiss the rock in the Kaaba. You, you, you go and kiss the black. Let me get the brother to educate you because I don't want to get into a debate with. Uh, All right, fine. If you don't want to debate, it's okay. I don't want to yeah. force you to debate. Okay, you. that's better because last time you tried to force me. It was a bit embarrassing. I never force you, man. I, I ask you a question. Right. I you just impose you yourself again, on my no debate. I show you every time. But I'll get the brother to come and debate you. Go, go, get him. Get him. I'll be here. Go get him. Because they pray towards the Ark of the Covenant. But just a second, just a second. So, so, so uh, yeah, please, no, let me just finish it. My point, my point is. Well, you have to understand that. I understand. You, have, you, you genuinely don't have a point because we don't worship the president. Ah. Okay. Second, right. can I make my my points right? We don't have, we don't worship the president. B, there is no link apart from the very vague link that you made about Sirius, the, the god of stars. And see that the Quran says don't worship any idols. So there are very three strong. Okay, give me the three, uh, three, three again. Uh, let me let me let me get your let three arguments again. No, not even me. Please. Any uneducated. Hold on, hold on. Can you can you give me the three arguments again? Okay, no, give me no the three ideas. arguments again. What was the first one again? The first one um, is that we don't worship the crescent and the star because the Quran says don't worship the crescent and the star. Because the Quran says don't worship the star. Only worship God. Don't worship the creation. Right? That's fine. Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. So Quran says don't worship the so, uh, creation. Okay, that, that's your one reason. What's your second reason? The second reason is that in the Quran it says to worship any idols. But it's the same same thing. Okay, fine. And the third reason is that no. Well, you didn't. You only got one reason. And your only link. Your only link between between the Quran and the crescent and star is this is this ayah. Yeah, no, that's not the okay. okay well, so a, either, yeah. either I genuinely, okay. genuinely need to go. No. So, yeah, I know. I, I, I don't want to. I just went through the whole thing. Give me the other one. I told you, Kilby, and I told you, Tabri wrote about this okay. story. There's two lines. Yes. The one is hadith. You eliminate. Sorry. Yeah. One is, uh, one is hadith. 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 What's the hadith? We don't believe that okay, you have to look up Tabri, yeah. Al Tabri, Hubal. I don't have the reference, but if you want, I can get you the reference. But it's by Tabri. I just know it's by Tabri. So is he, ta is he generally talking about? He's talking about Hubal. He's talking about Hubal is the crescent moon, the god of the Arabs. That's fine. Okay, that's all. That's all. So if the god of the Arabs, that's from Tabri. Tabri is a, okay. That's not Hadith. That's not Hadith. So you're saying? So do you believe in the Prophet? That's fine. Okay, fine. So what is in Hadith? I don't know. I'm saying. I'm asking you. In Hadith, is that the same? of the prophet wow. in the hadith is based on the sayings of the prophet sayings and actions of the prophet sayings and actions of the prophet and do you believe in all the hadith uh, some are weak some are strong some are weak some are strong yeah based on a lineage in, in it's, it's, it's up to so if it, if it says sahih muslim do you believe it yes if it says uh, uh, bukhari sahih bukhari you say you believe it can i ask you one question how old was aisha when uh, Muhammad married her or had sex with her, both of them. I'm not sure. Why not? I haven't researched this. Oh, you haven't? Are you, are you sure you haven't? Do you not know uh, okay. Bukhari? What, what does it say in Bukhari? What was the age? I genuinely, I'll say Wallahi, but you won't believe me. I'm saying, okay, there's two points here. You're digressing to another point. No, no, no. And B, and B, and B. I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you what happens with Muslims. Why the faith that they believe in is so weak. Because when I ask you, you said, oh, this is not in the Hadith, this is not in, this is just history, well, this is just this. But there isn't a Hadith. Okay, but when I ask you, but when I ask you, when I ask you, do you believe in the Hadith? You said, no, no, I believe in the Sahih Hadith. And I say, how old was Aisha? And you say, give me the weakest Hadith. It's okay, it's not in the Hadith. So what are you worried about? Why are you worried about that? My friend, so, okay. you know what so is only like, okay, so let's break this down, let's break this down. So, so that we can be really clear. So your only link is that um, Al-Kalabi uh, talked about the ancient gods of the uh, Saudi Arabia or the Arabians, which is, uh, what's his name? Hubal. Hubal. 
and your second link is your second link is the ayah from Surah Al Najm. And says, also, there is Tabari who has also said the same thing. Tabari talking about the ancient gods of Arabia. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we can do uh, Tabari and Kalabi talking about the ancient right. gods of Arabia. Now, forget about them. Simplify it. Okay. Just simplify it. That, that was okay. Okay, let's simplify it. So those references I gave you was to link the god of Arabia, the crescent moon, to, to Arabs. The symbol. To Arabs. Okay, to the symbol. Now, the missing point is, where did you guys get this symbol on top of your mosque? That was my main question. Can there be, and I'm not sure of this, right? And I'm, I'm just posing this as a... As a, as a That's where we started argument, from. But what I'm right. trying to say is... All right. Well, All right. Good, good. Okay, can this be... Um, a matter of the crescent and star being prominent in Arabia and prominent for the people that worship the idols. So I'm sorry, I'm all, not following you. Can you please repeat that? So I'm all sorry. people in Arabia use the crescent and star as guidance, or, or, or and they appreciate they appreciate the stars for guidance in, in, in the desert. And and the people who created the idols use the same symbol for their gods. Okay. Can that be? Can that be? The you case? know what? Actually, you've reminded me of something that actually I should have mentioned before, it comes from your Quran. In the Quran, it mentions Sabians. 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 The Sabians were moon and, moon and star worshippers. What's, what, what, what? Sabians. Can you give me the reference, please? Can you help me find the verse uh, that talks about the Sabians, Christians and the Jews have nothing to worry about? What, what is in there going to be saved? Yeah, yeah, he wants to know the reference. I don't know because every time that you talk to Muslim, they just don't know anything that you want to talk about. No, they know just, all the I other just, verses. I just don't okay. want to assume that. No, no, no. It's in the Quran. We'll get you the reference. Okay. So the Quran is saying Sabians, Jews, and Christians have nothing to worry about as long as they believe in God and they uh, follow the, you know, they do the right things. They have nothing to worry about. But the problem with that verse is it's including the Sabians. The Sabians of the Arabs were the moon and the crescent uh, the worshippers. That means that Quran is promoting Sabianism. Same, this is the same thing with saying it promotes Christianity and Judaism. Because Christianity and Judaism, they can say because they believe in the same God, they believe in the books, they're well, the people of the books. Yeah, at the same time, then doesn't matter. But in it, Jesus was God. that's fine. But that's it's not what. Listen, but the Quran does say that the Christians are the closest to Islam, well, right? Ahlul Kitab. Ahlul Kitab. Which is not the Christians. There's not you and you it? and your other Christians now. Yes, it is. Okay, that's a new. Is it, oh, is is it, it, uh, indeed, those who believed and those no, who were Jews or Christians yeah, yeah, yeah. or Sabians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, thank no. you. Here we go. Surah 62. Surah 62. No, 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 no. Chapter 2, verse 62. Chapter 2, verse 62. Please read it. Read it out loud so I can hear it. Oh, you're reading it in Arabic. Okay. Indeed, those who believe in those who are Jews and Christians are Sabians. Sabians, yeah, it's mentioned Sabians. Okay. Sabians were the Indeed. Arabs who were worshipping the stars and the moon. In Yemen. Indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. those who believed in those who were Jews, Christians, or Sabians before the Prophet Muhammad, those among them who believed in Allah on the last day and that righteousness will have their reward with their Lord and no fear will there be concerning them, right. nor will they grieve. So this is your connection of your moon worshipping, which is Sabians, mentioned in your Quran. Now I've given you something that okay. you can hold on to. As in, it's okay. okay, thank so you, how Mark. Does that, so thank you're saying, much. so you see the Sabians, Sabians. Is that, so the Muslims are transformed, so transformation no, no. from Sabians. You asked me for a connection of the crescent moon into your Quran or Hadith, and I just gave you one. But this connection means nothing. Why? Because it also mentions the Jews and, uh, Jews and Christians. Did you ask me for Jews and Christians connection to the crescent moon? Or did you ask me the crescent moon connection to the Quran? Yes. I'm giving you, forget about the mentions. Okay, sorry, I mean, okay. I, sh okay, I the should have made it clear. My, what I meant to ask is, can you associate the crescent and moon, uh, the, the, the crescent and star in the Quran or the hadith, which we agree that there's no hadith. So let's just stick with the Quran. Can you, can you, there, is there a link in the Quran where the crescent and star should be worshipped or um, can be worshipped? No, sir. Absolutely not. It's Thank forbidden. You Thank, you Thank you. Please. 
That's not my point. This is called a red herring. When you have an argument, people who do a red What's herring, red herring know. means that you're no, trying to make your know. own argument no, and, and, I, I and I dispute that I argument genuinely. rather than my okay. argument because you can't your dispute argument? my argument. So what is your argument? Then? Okay, here you go. Sabians, Muhammad was a Sabian before he was a prophet. Before he was 40 years old, he was worshipping Uzza. He was worshipping, there's a story of him giving sacrifice to Uzza before he was a prophet. Where's the story from? Uh, this is from one of the hadiths. And and what, from where? Look, my friend, I don't, I'm not a Muslim. I have it. If you want, like I gave you all the references no, no, before. Give me, give me. No, no, no. I don't have time right now to no, give you all the. Why did you have Mark, time? Mark. Uh, why, why, why? Are, why if I, I give you the reference, no, are you going to leave me. Islam? No, no, no. Okay, forget it. It's not worth it. Give me, give me the reference. was uh, giving sacrifice to Uzzah before he was a prophet. Yeah, There's a story the about that in the hadith. So, anyway, listen, my friend. I've gone to all the hoop, jumped through all the hoops that you gave me. I've, I've, I jumped through everything. You, I've saying, given you the argument? correction. What's your argument? My argument is this. Muhammad was a moon god worshipper. His tribe was a moon god worshipper. After he became a, a, a prophet, he kept his moon god symbol, although he said, no, no, don't worship the moon. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Saying something and doing something are two different things. If I say I love you, but then when you when you go away, I'm like, oh, this guy is an idiot, blah. When but the, if I okay. if I do some good for you, when you are in trouble, I give you money or I help you. Is that better? Or if I just say I love you, okay. there's so action. There, there's there's an action and there's saying. Okay. Muhammad in saying that uh, you know don't worship this, but keep the crescent moon. In his he action, he's worshiping he the moon. In his action, where did he say keep the crescent and moon? Where did he say? Where did he even promote the crescent and moon? My understanding, the crescent, uh, the crescent star, sorry, the crescent star came after the death of the Prophet Muhammad. No, my friend, that's what I'm trying to say to you. Crescent star, moon has been there way before Muhammad okay. came. So, okay. so you do, you cannot say this this came way after Muhammad died, somebody somewhere in Islam. Okay. It's not Islamic. It's just there. Don't worry about it. But, okay. You can't do that. Okay. That symbol has been Arabic symbol, star worship, moon worship, oh, so symbol, evidence, everything. Do you have evidence that the Prophet ﷺ used the crescent and star? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go up. No, no, Jay, I'm okay. No, no, no. Because that's, Listen, that's my a friend, fair question. That is the a fair, fair question saying, would be the fair question would be. He's doing it in his actions. So where's his okay. actions? Okay, I'll answer that question if you give me the answer to where did you get the crescent moon and the star and why are they on top of your mosque. Um, I wasn't aware and I googled it 15 minutes ago and it's because uh, the, the Arabs used it for guidance. Through okay, fine, fine. What's, right. your, what's your That's explanation? Fine. That's fine. It's, okay, let, let's Hubel. take your let's okay. take your explanation. They took it from Hubel. Let's go down. I, I, but what do you want me? What do you want me to? do? I've no, already no, no. made my argument. No, no you're arguing. Okay, so where's the actions of the Prophet Muhammad No, no, no. no, no. That's not my Islam. argument, bro. Am I talking about Muhammad? I'm talking about Muslims. You said you 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 said the Prophet says don't worship idols, but his actions actually say worship idols. That's right. Okay, where's his actions say worship right. idols? That's right. Now, let's let's clear that up for you. No, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna clear. Okay, I can't clear, say, respond to you because you ask a question that you want an answer. The answer that I'm gonna give you will cover your question, but will I'll explain it in my way. This is the way I'm gonna explain this. Hubal was a god of Quraysh. Muhammad's parents were following Hubal. Muhammad was following Hubal as a Sabian. That's his symbol. The fact that it's on top of your mosque and nobody knows where it comes from, it leads you to know that this symbol can only come from the god of Quraysh, which Muhammad belonged to. So other than that, if you have a better answer for me, say, look, you're wrong. This symbol came from here and you have some evidence and you say, this is your absolute wrong. I'll shut up. Okay. I'll stop saying that because that would be wrong. Okay. You don't have any answer. None of the Muslims have. It's not just you yourself. Okay. I have talked to the biggest da'is here. None of them have the answer. So, okay. Can I break it down? So did you find that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's inside here for power. Okay. Read it, please. My eyes are not so good. Read it loud so I can hear it. No, no, no. Just, no, just. I want to know, know where it's from. It's, he just gave you the reference, bro. Here, 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 here. I'm just reading it. Yeah. Read it loud so we can. No, no. Read it loud so I can hear it. 
Can you please? I'm trying to read, just read it from, yeah, brother. I'm read not, it from I'm not reading it. Give me the reference. Why did Muhammad sacrifice animals to pagan gods and eat their flesh prior to starting Islam? Sahih al-Bukhari 7407. Can you repeat the reference, please? Sahih what? Sahih al-Bukhari 7407. 7407. Okay, please read it. What does it say? Narrated Abdullah. Uh, louder, louder. Abdullah, Allah's, uh, Allah's apostle said that he met Zayd. Loud and proud, Allah, man. Be proud of Islam. At a place near Barada and has and had happened before Allah's Apostle received the divine inspiration. So Allah's Apostle presented the gesture of me. So Allah's Apostle in this, in this, in this Go down, go down, it's gonna cut the uh, hadith. Please go down. Who's Allah's down. Apostle in this? In this uh, in Muhammad. This, Muhammad, this, Muhammad yeah. Received the, the divine inspiration. Allah's Apostle presented a dish of meat that had been offered to him by the pagans to Zaid ibn Amr, but Zaid refused to eat it, eat uh, of it, and then said to the pagans, I do not eat of what you slaughter on your stone altars and sab, nor do I accept um, accept that which that on which Allah's name has been mentioned on slaughter. But this is weird because it says Balada happened before Allah's apostle receives the divine inspiration. But then he says here, I do not eat except what is Allah's name is mentioned on it. So how is that? How does that work? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how that works, but that's no, no. mentioned in there. But how does that work? Well, before, I didn't write the hadith. Before, Muha before the Prophet got the divine this inspiration from Allah, so before Islam was a thing, his friend said that I do not eat anything before uh, without Allah's name mentioned on it. Thank you. You made a very good point. Yeah. The problem with that point is it's which in the hadith. Okay, which it's makes nothing me want to do to with me. More about this. Please research yourself. It's in the hadith, okay? And it's before Muhammad was a prophet. So he was sacrificing to Islam. That means he was a he pagan. He wasn't sacrificing. Yes, he was. He said, oh my God, brother. What? He said he was given the dash by pagans. <laughs> okay. Is that correct? The whole... That's correct. Can you, uh, Mark, Mark, Mark. Can you get, bring up the whole hadith? He's the old talking about the hadith, not the... Yeah, yeah, this, one, this is the one, right? Okay, uh, can you read it out for me? I can't hear. Just, he's going to read it. Just read it, bro. Alice Messenger said that he met... Sahid bin Amar Nafil at a place near Bauda and this happened before Allah's Messenger received the divine inspiration. Allah's Messenger presented a dish of meat. Uh, Allah's Messenger? Yeah. What did he do? Carry on. Presented a dish of meat. Presented a dish of meat. Carry on. He presented carry on. a dish of meat. Okay. Carry on. That had been offered to him by, by the pagans. Okay. That, been, that so, had been offered to him by the... But he so, presented it. Okay. That had been offered to him. Th that's fine, but he presented it okay. to somebody else. Okay. If he's Presented a prophet, it. Okay. if he's a prophet, okay. he knows that meat is why, why, it's why a haram. Before he got the divine inspiration. That's right. <laughs> that means that Muhammad okay. was a paganist before he was. Okay. Okay. It's fine. I don't think so. I don't think so. But, <laughs> okay. carry on. but, but the Quran. Presented. I'll give you another okay. verse in the Quran. Allah is saying to the prophet. And what, what's this? What's the strength of this uh, hadith? It's, it's Bukhari. Bukhari. Bukhari, man. <laughs> Authentic. It okay. never be clear. Well, I'm pretty sure because I'm not. I'm not very expert on this, but it's I'm pretty right. sure it's Sahih. It's Sahih. It says the, the strength, even in Sahih. Well, Bukhari, can you give him the grade? It will say the grade on there. You can't, you can't get stronger than No, no, no. It's okay. Sahih just give him the grade, bro. Just so. go to the. There's the, nothing so. higher. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's asking. No, it is, there, is there any uh, Sahih okay, that's Bukhari like, uh, well, that's accept not Sahih? It. Let's accept it. Let's okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, he said. Okay, in the Quran. I don't think so. There are grading systems within But Bukhari. So you believe some of the Bukhari, not all of the Bukhari? No, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, not sure. thank you. You don't know what you believe. I haven't okay. read. I haven't read enough of it. All right, fine. But I believe in the grading systems. Okay, fine. Okay. Let's let's move on. Let's Can move I, on. Yeah. Okay. okay. I got okay it. With I got that? it. Yeah. I got okay. But you did accept that one. Okay, fine. Now listen to this. In the Quran, Allah is saying to Muhammad, before he was a prophet, he did not know Allah. He did not know the faith. He did not know anything. That means he was a pagan because he was not knowing God before. Because Muslims are saying he was a Hanif. Hanif was the ones who were looking for the religion of Abraham, right? Those were Hanifs. I, I know, I'm sorry, maybe you don't know all this stuff about Islam. I do because I, I, I debate Muslims all the time. So I research all this stuff. So the, 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 the so, problem is your Quran is saying Muhammad was a pagan before he became a prophet. Allah is saying that. This is in the Quran. If I show you this verse, are you going to seriously stop Okay, thinking sure about Islam verse, because the, the the, if I show you this verse, where Allah is saying you did not know the, 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 the me or the faith before you became a prophet. So, 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 so Allah, Allah is saying, okay. 
you did not know me or the, before, yeah, yeah. He presented before he presented himself, of course. Yeah. Before he became a prophet. Because the Muslims are saying, okay, can you do me a favor, bro? There is a Quranic verse where Allah is saying to Muhammad, you did not know me or the faith. And I don't remember exactly the, 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 the thing, but just type that in, it should come up. But isn't that, isn't that no, because a normal no, no, thing? No, 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 it's not. If I, if, you, if I didn't come today, would you know me? Bro, you're making sense. I'm not saying you're not. Okay, the problem is that Muslims don't because they say that Muhammad was always worshipping Allah. And they even go as far as saying that Quraysh was worshipping Allah, but they were mushriks because they were worshipping other gods too, okay. which is absolutely false. That is why, because the whole thing, Crescent Moon, would be if the Quraysh is worshipping uh, uh, not Allah, but Hubal, that means that Crescent Moon belongs used to there. worship idols. Yes, right. Yeah, they, were, they, they, they used were, to worship they were. idols, and they were, and the head and of the that, and the Prophet Muhammad didn't worship the idols. He didn't worship the idols. Where, uh, when did he not worship the idols? Up in, forever, forever. Yeah. Do you have a reference for that? What? What? You, what um, that yeah. Muhammad uh, didn't know the 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 word of Allah before he was made a prophet, something to that effect. There is a verse and I can't... Yeah, I know, I know actually, I, I, a Christian prince gave me that verse. I emailed him and he gave it to me. <laughs> it was a great one. And I should have remembered that one because that one comes up a lot. <coughs> Sorry, what was it that you're looking at? I'm trying to look for any evidence that he did worship. Okay. Or he didn't rather worship. Rachel, don't get involved. If your family symbol, let's say you have a family, big family, and your family is your very important family, and your family symbol is the crescent moon. I am the son of this family, let's say, I'm, you know, and I go out in the world and I make a new uh, whatever religion, and I give that religion my family's. That was the family's god symbol, you know, the god. Yeah, the god of Quraysh, the lord of Quraysh, was Hubal. That means that was the biggest god of the, the 360 gods. The biggest god was Huba. So that's all in the book. I can't make all of this stuff up. I'm not like that smart or whatever. So this is all history, you know, and this is not something that I've come up with. This is known in history. I'm just repeating something all right. that's already I, there. I do need to go, but, Thank but you. can you give me a rundown of what your argument is? So your argument is uh, the Prophet والسلام, used to worship the idols. He then Transform okay. the idol worshiping into Islam. Okay, Is go ahead. Your argument. Go ahead. And then, and now the Muslims still worship idols. Okay. Through. through uh, some, some so, so let, let so let me summarize it in my words. Yeah, yeah. I know you have said it. In my words, here's the thing. Islam says Allah is the best of deceivers. That makes Allah a deceiver. That means Muhammad is a deceiver. And deception does not mean that I will come and tell you that I am the Satan worship me. If I'm Satan, I'm going to come to you as the angel of light. In the Bible, it says that Satan pretends to be the angel of light, meaning he, 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 he as a wolf, he puts on the sheep's clothing. 
to pretend that he's nice. So Islam is based on deception. The Muslims are deceived. I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose. Their deception is that Muhammad took his God's God uh, of his uh, father and mother and his tribe, which was the crescent moon, carried that symbol into Islam with deception. That's my point. The star is the same thing, which is all these two are the biggest gods of Arabia from thousands of years. So and it continued that until, and it's by deception that this is going on. Not intention, because the way you start make it sound, that I'm saying that Muslims are doing the internet. I'm not saying that. So, we're, so, we, so your argument is that we're not worshipping God. We're not worshipping Allah. We're worshipping the present and star. My argument is, though your prophet has deceived you, into the worship of moon god by having the crescent moon on top of you even, even though he says that because that's called deception you know what deception is deception is fraud deception is not like i'm coming and lying to you that this is god no 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 that would be lying deception is different so this is deception spiritual deception in the bible it's all mentioned spiritual deception is mentioned uh, Satan act, uh, pretending to be the angel of light is, uh, is mentioned. Satan coming as a as a sheep, in, uh, as a wolf coming as a sheep. This is all mentioned, and this all fits okay. this whole thing. That's my argument. Thank I'm you for. Okay, not by, uh, I understand agree, what you're saying. I, I understand what you believe. I understand what you believe. But thank you for a great conversation. You've been very civil. I really like talking to you. Thank you, sir. You believe that Satan deceived uh, Prophet Muhammad or no? Of course. So how do you explain the prophecies that have come true, the fulfilled prophecies? Well, uh, which prophecy has uh, fulfilled? Okay, two, two Arabs, uh, with the two buildings, yes? Tall buildings, yes. oh, okay. That, that was 1400 oh. years ago. Show me the reference for that. The, the reference? Yeah. Okay. Satan cannot uh, make these prophecies. Only yeah, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> They'll be naked and not one naked oh, how's it going? Oh, it was a great conversation with a Muslim. It's all, you know, but he just stepped in. I just started talking to him. Okay. He wanted to prove to me that Muhammad had prophecies. He's going to show me a reference okay. for his prophecy that's yeah. come true. The tall buildings. Yes, sir. When you see barefoot, naked, this, this. What sir, read it loud so we can hear it. My when eyes are not so good. When you see barefoot, naked, destitute shepherds competing and constructing tall buildings. Barefoot shepherds. Naked so, uh, were well, they they're naked? Huh? Barefoot shepherds, yeah. they were competing in so tall buildings. Tall buildings. So, that would mean that the Arabs would be building the tall buildings themselves, right? Yeah. But the problem is, none of those tall buildings are in Arabia are built by Arabs. They're built by American companies using the labor from like third world. So, the Arabs are not building them. Now, if there was a prophecy that said something, Arabs would be so rich from the God's mercy, whatever, you yeah, know, it's, but because... It's in the Arabian Peninsula, so it's still in that, uh, in that location. So it's yeah, but, but it's like, it's a very vague uh, thing to say. Anything okay, that says that, anything. Okay, in that topic, vague is uh, what's brought up by many prophecies, but that can't be said because, let's, what? no, because let's say it's about, it's not just about this modern uh, time, it's about before that and for people after us. So why would you, why, there's a reason why it's gonna be a bit vague, because the, the people back then would not realize the prophecies and they would they would not believe it so you have you have to meet you have to no 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 you said to... islam is true because the prophecies came yes. true one of what is the prophecy that came true well here it is uh, the prophecy said that the barefooted arabs shepherd will be competing for building tall buildings i said okay so that's that one, means I just one, yeah. that's right that was one right that's the one you brought up so i cannot bring it up you brought it up okay, okay. so now i said that means the Arabs would be building the tall buildings. However, Arabs are not building those tall buildings. The American companies are building them. The construction companies from, uh, from outside of Arabia and the labor from outside of Arabia are building those buildings. If the Arabs were themselves building those buildings, that would still give you some kind of credibility. 
But this does not give you any credibility. Arabs are an authority, but they're not their first. No, they were their first. If your words over here. They were. Listen, if your. If if your. 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 If First, they were competing with like American building. Then there is like in Singapore, there's a tall building. So they're competing with that the one. They're not, they're not competing with each other. When they were trying to be the tallest, they were trying to be the tallest against the Singaporean one or the, or the you know, whatever. So it's not, it's not a true prophecy. It doesn't come true. It doesn't make any sense. My friend, if that's what keeping you, is that what's keeping you in the slum? Okay, okay, let me ask you one question. Okay, since you know about Islam and you okay. have a strong faith in Islam, yes. maybe you can help me. Okay, sure. All right. Why do you have the crescent moon on top of your mosque? It's a bit it's you want to come and talk? No, it's, it's okay, then, then don't worry about it. Then no, just, no, but, um, I don't I'm young. I don't have full knowledge of Islam, but I can... Right. Answer no, questions. nobody, nobody knows, bro. It's not because you're young. I asked all the dais here before you. Okay. Nobody knows. Because the Prophet was a Sabian. Sabians were star and moon worshippers. That's why the Muhammad carried the What? What did you say? The Prophet was... Sabian. A Sabian? Yeah. The Prophet? Yeah. He wasn't a Sabian. What was he? You know, at the time of the Prophet, there was no... That wasn't the sign of Islam. Sorry? The crescent and the star. Sorry, no, no. Why are you jumping? The crescent and Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Because you're lying. They say the Prophet was a Sabian. Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Because you're lying. Tell me the tell me tell me if the uh, if the prophet was Sabian or not. He wasn't a Sabian. Okay, then what he was, was he? Muslim. So no no uh, before he was forty years old. What was he? Well, I'm not sure. Thank it you. Was a, thank you. A, all right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's uh, that's all. You you're great Muslim, bro. Keep on. You don't know what Muhammad was before he was forty years old. He was Muslim. Sabian he was, was. He was Muslim. He was always a Muslim. He always never, a Muslim. He never, he never worshipped an idol. Nothing. He never worshipped an idol. Nothing. Nothing. The Quran says, Allah says, you did not know me or my uh, my Quran before you, I made you a prophet. How was he worshipping Allah before? What? What? I did, I, I, I didn't see this. Allah in Quran says you can't to Muhammad. You like have to show us where. And then there's also, uh, what's it called? Uh, the tafsir. You also have to look at the meaning behind it. What, what, what does you mean that you have to look at the meaning? You mean the Quran is not a clear book? You can only understand Quran by by a man written by man, a tafsir written by a man. Then not, you can it's understand not, Quran. It's not just any man. It's not just any man. Which man? Yeah, Who wrote the mean, tafsir? Whose yeah. tafsir do you do you see, believe? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not claiming to be an imam. Okay. okay. I'm Thank just you. A Muslim, yeah? You also don't know what Muhammad's religion was before he became a Muslim. You're, you're also claiming something that you don't have evidence. You know. What do you mean I don't have it? Go look at your mosque. Why does it have a crescent moon? That's my evidence. That's something the Turks bought. It wasn't Turks. The, you know the Turks. Can you, it? Can you prove 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 it? They were Sufi. Can you prove the Turks put it? Can you prove the Turks put it there? Can you prove it? I know how it came. Go look at the mosque. Go look at the stream. If you come in front of camera, I'm not going to waste my breath. I already did the video. It's already done. Watch the video. It's explained to him. Uh, watch my video. It's called Revelation 22. I just had a two-hour video with a guy explaining to him why you have the crescent moon on top of your mosque. Crescent moon was Hubal, which was a god of uh, Quraysh. This is from your own sources. Kilby and Tabari talks about it. Hubal was a crescent moon god of Arabia for thousands of years before Muhammad. I know you, but look it up. Look up Kilby Hubal. This is a book by Kilby. You know who Kilby was? He's the guy who wrote, he was in 7th century. He was a Muslim. He wrote two books that were very famous. One was the genealogy of Muhammad connecting him to Ishmael. All right. Everybody loves that book. The other book he wrote was called the Idols of Arabia. It was just a history of the idol worshipping of Arabia. In that book, he mentions that Hubal was the god of Quraysh.
which was the crescent moon god. I'll look into that. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. All right, man. Take it easy. All right. Again, the same thing. I think this thing will sink in after a while. I mean, I'm repeating myself, but it's every time to a new Muslim. It's the more it, this message is going through their brain, because every time they look at the crescent moon, they need to understand what that symbol stands for. Because that is a very satanic symbol. It's been mentioned in the Bible. There were, uh, you know, uh, Hubal worshippers in the Bible, in the Old Testament. This has been forever the Satan symbol. And they don't know that. And this is my mission is to explain this to the world, that this is a continuation of Satanism from the beginning. And it never ends. Jesus is Lord, the way, truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by Him. Amen. Amen.